Hello, Jeremy from Jambalaya Plays Games here. Today I'm just doing an unboxing for Console 4. Was once by Cranial Creations and now it's being published by CMON, so working together. Now I've been told that the Cranial Creations version was really good too, uh, but this one got, you know, the CMON touch. This game is made by uh, Simone, designed by Simone Luciani and Dan Tashidi. I'm going to go with that. And uh, Console 4 is kind of like a, a route. Uh, merchant route game. Um, it's got some interesting mechanics where you're trying to influence uh, the four consoles in each lanes. But we'll get to that when we open the box. This, I mean, I'm really pumped to see these minis and stuff like that. Now, I am not a huge editor at all. So when you see this video, you're going to be like, boy, this guy's just rambling. I am. I'm just going to talk through it and whatnot. Uh, so just a couple things. Uh, yeah, these unboxings. I'm not a real big Simon uh, person. I, I think uh, the only... I, actually, I can't really think of many of the CMOD games that I've ever owned, <clears throat> like off the top of my head, but I don't know, something about their game designs uh, I, I've never really been so attracted to, but now oh, that's changed, most definitely, and uh, I think it's going to change this year, because uh, I did Way of the Panda, I'm really excited about playing that one, and I know, big time, I'm going to love this one, so let's get to the box, I'm... I'm talking a mum and I'm going over going overboard here. So we have the booklet. This this as you can see, this booklet's not that thick, and that's because the game is not that hard at all. Uh, but really this man, this artwork is just absolutely amazing. Let's see here. Look at that. I'm gonna let me, let me get let me get in on that a little bit. Let's just move in a little bit closer. And uh, check that out. Look at that artwork, man. So yeah, very easy, um, very easy game to learn. And the actual look at that art, jeez, um, to learn and get to the board. As a matter of fact, it's not that long of a game. I think it's forty to seventy minutes. So that's that's a really big selling point for me. Uh, let's see what we got here. So these are the tiles that you get um, to help you with your routes. Um, so you kind of fulfill these these deeds, and then you get these points and stuff like that. I kind of watched a video on it. Um, I can't remember the name of these guys, but they also help you get actions too, uh, because there's quick actions and regular actions. I guess I'll get to that when I get the boards. But we should go ahead and punch that. Feels great. Wait. Oh, yep. Another random one. All right. Cool. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the colors on these boards are a little different. Let's go ahead and come back a little bit. All right. Um, the colors also represent the lanes that they're in. Well, look at those guys here. So, get that. Gonna go random punchings here. Oh, that worked beautifully. Uh, let's see here. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like it's uh, point totals. So, let's go with point totals. All right. All right. And here we go, the mother. What we're all here for, right? The minis. The minis are definitely 1A, but uh, the board is going to be 1B here. Look at this board. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, let's go ahead and step it back just a tad. I'm going to... I think I might even just, let me just get this up a tad. So you can see what's going on here. This board is absolutely beautiful. Let's uh, get it right in the view here. Sorry, I got that all in the way. Let's just let's just get a scan in. On... Look at that. This board is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the details and it's just the color all around here. And as you can see, there's color lanes there, and you can only put like one of your guys in each one. They're merchants, I should say, not guys. They're merchants. Yeesh. All right. And then the, the consoles will go down here. Now, that's not the only board. There is a queen board. Or, and this is kind of like where your victory point tracker is. Look at this baby. Now, this is a longer board. I'm not going to be able to do it the best justice here, but I'll get you closer. All right. All right, I'll just kind of move it in and out of the screen here. Just kind of walk it up the plank here. Yeah, so I know this is another track you could go up. 
Uh, but yeah, and this is your money. You actually have money. That's the board, and then the board, you go up and down. All right, so once again, we don't know everything, so I don't know everything about this to just speak on it entirely, but I wanted to show it because I just, man, it's the color. I love color that pops um, like that. It's something I truly enjoy. I'm kind of going away from that, you know, artwork going go so far thing. I'm starting to really, really appreciate it because I believe in gameplay over everything, but I mean, some of this art is just so numb. It's like, whoa, you got to kind of take notice. All right. So we have these player boards, and I'll tell you right now, this this is they're pretty, pretty, pretty thin. Um, yeah, really thin. But that's not a big deal. It's just, eh, actually, no, they're okay. Um, so yeah, you have a character card, and very, very easy iconography to understand. Like I don't even know what these are off the top of my head, but I can see very simple actions. But look at that. Look at that. Uh, character look at that i love art i just love beautiful art um, all right here we go look at that and uh, let's see what we got so this is a four player game i just love that bulky big bulky jacket it's a lot of puffy characters in here i like that like they're real puffy Oh, look at this merchant. Really? Whoa, dude. Walking closet, huh? Walking cabinet, I should say. All right. So we'll move those off. And, and, and the big finale. The manis. Actually, no. Let's get to the cards here. We'll we'll, we'll soften that one up. We'll, we'll get to the cards. We'll go to the minis right away. Let's see. I When I saw the play, when I saw these cards, I was like, Wow. So let me see how they look in person. Because there's that, right? Oh, let's see. I don't want to get catfished by these cards. Here we go. Look at, yeah, they're beautiful. They are, they're still, they look great. So those are the blues. Oh, wow. All right, these are the yellows. Wow, look at that. And they're not different, so that's the yellow. Because they're just going to be the color of the council members. So that's the purple. And this is the green. Which probably is going to be my favorite. That looks really... She just looks... <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice person, huh? Great great lady. Uh, let's see. And black. Mischievous is all. Alright. He's got the Illuminati. Kind of Illuminati looking symbol there. Uh, let's see. And this is like brownish, I'm assuming. And then the wild card. So there you go. That's all of them. Wow. It's a beautiful, just beautiful components. And I like the design of the, the kind of the car. I like that. The outline. It's really cool. All right. Insert. All right. The insert. Here we go. I'm just going to slide down a tad and then get right back into it. All right. So I like, you know, I wasn't used to this. I did the way, uh, way of the panda thing and I kind of, I wasn't like, un I didn't understand how this works, but I didn't know they, like they have all these icons that say, Hey, this is how it goes back in here. Like I said, you can tell I'm not a Simon owner, so I don't know how these things work and I do appreciate it. Um, so I got to figure it out and maybe put my box back in my way of the panda thing. Uh, but here we go. I'm going to slide this out. All right. Just bring this in a little bit. All right. All right. Hopefully you can see it. See it good. All right. Oh, there's tape. That's That's a good thing, right? Tape is a good thing. Hopefully that sound is not irritating me. I really do apologize. I mean, you gotta you gotta give a novice a shot, right? All right. Oh no.
Okay. No. And of course, my smoothness is gone. So while I'm struggling with this, I'm going to I wanted to uh, make up something to talk about. I, uh... Oh, wait, 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 you got through it. Oh, look at that, I get to duck out of the conversation with myself. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the minis. We're gonna unbox them. All right, so, coming back. A lot of rustling around there, Lord. This is the blue. So, these all go on the board kind of randomized these these all go on the board kind of randomized but okay so they're yeah they're all the same for each one so i'll pull them out one by one look at that guy i'll just spin them around quite a bit of detail in these here take it back let's pull it back a little bit here and then bring it closer Makes it a little easier for to see some more of the detail. All right, we have. Look at that! Oh my God, this this is by far the best one right here. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, I'm trying to find the best way to display how this awesomeness right here. There she is. They found her. It found her. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that, that's probably my favorite one there. Oh, this one won't do any justice, but it looks really good too. Oh, it, you it's like I wanna I wanna paint these, but why would you? That that's the thing. Like sometimes games are so good at making minis that you don't want to touch them because I don't want to screw them up. And I'm a pretty decent painter, but by no means I'm taking all my tips from you, from the webs at all times, watching Sinestro's videos, um, and being bad at it, not like him, uh, who's a professional and awesome. And then we have the last, this is the last uh, character. Oh, look, at, I love that, like that, that line there. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. And the queen Oh, wow. These these pennies are absolutely nuts. They're so sharp. They're like just sharp. All right. So then we have another. Here we go. We have another tray under that of some other things here. And I don't know what these are. So I'm just going to get right in it and start with this one here. I mean, these look like merchants, too. Yeah. I have no idea, because they all look different. And I thought I knew the game to enough to say, hey, this is what this is, but I don't. There's that guy with the rack, though. I like that. Gosh, so much detail. Wow. 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 Absolutely amazing. Now the the ones I'm not probably not going to show you is is these little small guys because they mimic the exact figures I'm showing you just in a smaller sense. Uh, and this is the last one here. This is the red players. Yeah, I really. Whoa. Oh come on! I want you to focus on you. Oh, come on. Find it. Oh, well, I don't want to completely ruin everybody's perception of that. There we go. That is about as good as I'm going to get. I'm sorry. It's kind of bloodied up anyway, so I can't necessarily see it all the way. But there are a lot of minis in this game. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to stick around and make this one super long because it, it probably is combined. Um... But CMON, Council of Four, I'm really excited to play this game because I've heard great things, and um, Tom Vassal from Dice Tower loved it too. So uh, hopefully uh, I get this to the table this game night, and uh, thank you once again for joining me. Um, Jim Alaya plays games, and stay tuned. I may do a review for this. 
Um, and, or I may interview for somebody from CMON about this game and other games coming uh, in the near future of 2018. Uh, once again, thank you for your time and have a good day.